Buckman had the most influence on me. He must have seen something in me, I suppose. <laughs> he sent me off to Ilam School of Fine Arts. And somewhere in some conversations that I had had with Buckman, he mentioned why he sent me to Ilam. At, you know, in the uh, 1960s, 70s, he considered the um, Ilam School of Fine Arts as a school of painting. So he saw me as a painter before I did. Rudy Gopez was a, my painting tutor. And he, he actually said to me, never forget that you are Māori. And I went, did you say that to me for? Of course I'm Māori, I'm never going to forget, look at this. <laughs> you know, I hadn't thought about what he was saying. And, I, and, I, and it was about, I think he was trying to get me to show that in my work. Oh, well, I go off on my own direction 15 years later. It's that direction. <laughs> the Kofai Fai has always been in the back of my mind, you know, but I, I stopped myself because my thinking was that they came from a European Western influence, you know, and so with that Fakaro in my head, I stopped, stopped that thinking for about ooh, two decades, I suppose. And then in the 2000, the Kofai Fai came quite strong in my thinking and I just had to do something about it. I think I wanted to get away from um, how we viewed them in the Whare, you know, th the gallery of the Whare, and um, to look at Kofai Fai as having a life that, um, that uh, comes not just from um, Te Waunui Atane, but comes from in in here, inside. So my challenge to myself was how to do those different. And it was in the layering of paint. It came with, you know, I said, if I can layer paint, I can layer pattern. And then when I started to layer them, I went, this is awesome. You know, it was creating spaces in between pattern, in between the main uh, structure of the pattern and then the substructures of the pattern, I started to make float. You know, and and it, it was just saying all sorts of things to me about a Māori abstraction. <laughs> you know, that, um, that uh, there's heaps of potential. And it's not to try and put it into the realm and keeping it in the realm as um, uh, a toy way of thinking, but to there it go. <laughs> and that's, I think, that's what Ko Fai Fai is about. You know, and it's, uh, you can't hem it in by, its, by the parameters of a rafter. We never had the carved whare in the north when I was growing up. We just had halls built on marae. And Whanatana was very influ influential in the north. And um, so I grew up with the pastel colours that the Fane used to paint in the, in the whare. And I think the, that influence came from Ratana Pa. It's that sort of um, thing that influenced my sense of colour. The number of panels is in reference to um, my name, Te Waru, so the eight panels. It was a challenge for me to actually add something to paint because even then, I think that was in the late 80s, I wanted to be a purist painter, just pure painter, you know, but it was, and then when I saw the raka, I went, oh no, this is a push me. I need to put the raka on the canvases. The raka came from um, the kanuka bush around um, the Wahi Tapu. My father actually blessed the rako for me to use it because I did ask him and say to him, is this tapu to take this dad? And he said, no, I'll bless it for you. You know, so he blessed them for me and then um, I took them back to my garage in Otara and set up the um, panels. There's a figurative form that's white in each panel. It sits above the um, rako, and that's in reference to 
the paurahui, which is used in incantations to lift tapu or to, to place tapu. So it's all referencing back to uh, kaitiakitanga or te whenua, um, uh, the round wahi tapu, that sort of um, uh, thinking was going on in my head at the time, being, a, being about, um, even in reference to the Treaty of Waitangi, you know, that uh, the land had been taken from us and we had to stake the claim. If not through Paurahui, then by Pauwhenua. Preparing to get to the canvas takes a lot longer than the actual making because I insist on myself waiting for layers to dry properly. So that, that takes a while, so I'm sort of twiddling my fingers, waiting, waiting, touch, touch. <laughs> go away, come back, and then put the next one on. So I don't like to try and complete anything to finish. I um, I think what I have noted in some of the developments, that works are actually done to completion, so there's no more. You know, and, and the no more is a concern to me. <laughs> I don't know what, what's going on in here, but it's kind of, you know, it's that journey that's a continuum with paint. Mm.